Hey everyone, so, oh I say that all the time, hello people, so this is Sarah again, if you guys didn't see the foundation video, then we're going to show you that, and um, what I'm going to show you on her is the eye makeup that I did in my I'm Back routine, and this is just concealer because I'm going to use it as a primer for her eyes, anyways, um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it for you, make sure you guys subscribe so you can see other videos um, on other models, I'm going to get a darker skinned model and show you foundation tips, etc., um, and yeah, she's actually going to do a photo shoot, so we're going to do the makeup and hopefully even post the finished pictures once she gets them back. So, the first thing we're going to do, she has a little bit of eyeliner on, which we can keep on. She just had that from the night before. Um, just a little bit on the bottom. But I'm going to have her close her eyes. And I'm just using my finger. And I'm going to apply concealer to her eyes as a shadow base. And you guys can use just about any shadow base. I really like Mary Kay. Um, MAC Fix Plus has a couple of great ones. Um, it really depends on what you have available. Urban Decay is good too. But theirs are best for extremely vibrant colors. So this one will give us a nice matte finish and help us to basically get the desired look that we're going for because it is her skin tone. Now where is it? Here it is. Anyways, and I'm using this with my finger just so that I don't contaminate anything else. I'm going to hop on the other side of you. Don't be scared. So I'm just applying this to her eyes and um, all the way up to the brow just so that we have complete coverage and a little bit into the tear duct. And you can just blend that out with your finger or if you're using a brush, feel free to blend out with a brush. The first thing I'm going to do is her inner corner, and I am using this color by MAC. If you guys can see it, it's called Goldmine. It's a really nice yellow color, but you guys can use just about any yellow you want. And we're just going to put this on the first inner third of her lid. And what I'm using to apply this is a 214 brush. It's kind of a flat, um, bunted thing. <laughs> thing, you like my description? Mm -hmm. And whether you're doing makeup on someone else or yourself, you can stick out your pinky finger like this and kind of stable yourself um, on either your or someone else's forehead just so that you guys can get even coverage and, you know, really maneuver the brush properly. Then this is an Urban Decay palette that I'm using, and I'm going to be using Fishnet. You can buy this in the palette. It's this one right here, this purple. You can either buy it in the palette, or you can buy it completely separately. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bit on the tip of my brush, dust off the excess. This is a 219 that I'm using. And when Sarah closes her eyes, we're going to put it right here on the crease. So we want to use kind of a windshield wiper motion and just connect it to the very top of the gold mine that we placed on her upper lid. We're also going to take this brush and move it a very tiny bit over, but leaving almost like a little circle right on top of her lashes um, that's incomplete and has no color. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this all the way up to her lashes, or I'm sorry, we're going to take this all the way up to her eyebrows so that when we add our highlight color, it'll fade out and give us a really nice highlight, but it'll still have some of that iridescent purple. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder compact foundation. I'm using a 239 and I'm just going to simply place this right up here. This is going to help dust out some of that purple. Make sure that you don't touch the crease though. So this way that purple is going to show through but we're still going to have a nice base for our highlight. So it's almost like a shimmery purple highlight as opposed to just a white one. And this isn't all for our highlight but this is just how we're going to mute some of the purple and still let it show through. With the exact same brush, I am going to take Crystal, um, Crystal Avalanche by MAC. As you can see, it's this really nice white shimmery color. And the reason that it's great to use this is because it's kind of shimmery, so if she has any stray hairs, which she does a couple here because she might not have tweezed, you know, within the past 24 hours, um, these will kind of help hide it. So we're going to use this over our entire highlight. This is from on top of the yellow and all the way over. And again, we're touching up on top of this purple and on top of the kind of matte powder foundation color that we applied. So if you guys look really closely, you can see we have this shiny white color as our highlight and we also have some of the nice purple coming through. So we're going to be using Crystal Avalanche with the 214 again and put it right in this little space that we originally missed 
on purpose and just touching her lash line and that's going to make her eyes look really really bright once this is all said and done and what happens is that when you apply white this close to the lash line along with liner it'll actually make her lashes look longer and kind of show through everything next I'm going to take a 222 and just take this in her very um, inner corners and I'm gonna work one color at a time so I'm gonna switch back from eye to eye and we really want to make sure that we blend this purple and yellow into the white so by just using windshield wiper motions we're gonna kinda make sure that all of these are meshed together properly we want to leave the very outer corner the least bit untouched so that's the darkest purple and then after that once we have kind of because when you blend all the colors are going to get accumulated on your brush once you do that we can go up into this white highlight just to give it that last finishing touch that blends it all in depending on how dark or how light you guys can reapply or under apply if you want less color you can just blend more if you want more color then just add it and because she's going to be in a photo shoot we want to make sure that hers is really really bright and you guys will probably be able to see it on camera better too once you've got the coverage that you want you can just use a small fan brush this one's from Costco and fan brushes are also a must for me you can just dust underneath and remove any of this excess color that might have fallen down next we're going to take this and comb her brows up and the brows that I had in the video were very dramatic Sarah's are not that dramatic, but we're still going to fill them in in the necessary places and just kind of shape them the way she needs to. I'm also using a 210, which is a very light liner brush, and I'm using Big Beautiful Eyes by Benefit, and I am just using the brown here. They recommend you can use this brown in the outer corner, but you guys can use a brow color, you guys can use a, um, a loose powder, you guys can use a liquid, anything you want to fill in your brows. And this will just give her definition and shape for when she's on camera. Or if you guys over-tweezed or under-tweezed your eyebrows, um, or if you guys over tweeze them, you can use this to fill in those areas until they grow back. And then take this again, and you guys can just kind of run it through to, again, reshape your brows if they got messed up. And it also helps get out any excess um, powder that was left in the brow. Next I'm going to use a black liner right on Sarah's wet line and she already has a little bit at the bottom so we're just going to touch that up where it needs to be. Add a little bit there to the corner and then Sarah close your eyes. We're going to get as close to these lashes as absolutely possible and this again is going to make her lashes look really full and really frame her eyes nicely. Open. We're also going to get, look that way, we're also going to get right here in the wet line if this hurts tell me and just kind of right up against her lashes so that way they look full and complete. And um, You can use any sort of brush you want, close your eyes, um, to just kind of blend out this line a little bit at the very corners and then leave it attacked at the very ends. So then we're going to apply Sarah's mascara. So if you just look down and I'm going to use a mascara and comb up. You can also comb down on the lashes depending on how thick you want them to be. And most people go in the front. I like to go in on the side because that way you can grab the lashes completely without messing up the look or stabbing yourself or someone else. And the one I'm using is just a Maybelline Lash Stiletto. So it's actually one of my absolute favorites because it's got these little iridescent shimmers in it that will pick up on any eye color and any eye look. All right, and the look that I did on Sarah's cheeks, oh, thank you. <laughs> the look that I did on Sarah's cheeks was uh, Pink Swoon by NARS because that's what goes best for her. Do whatever looks right on you. And then for Sarah's lips, she has a really nice color. Depending on your original lip color, if yours is more red, you're going to want to tone it down. If your lips are really nude, you're going to want to put a lipstick on underneath. Um, but I'm using Utterly Posh. It's a Dazzle Glass by MAC. And this, combined with her natural lip color, is going to give us a sparkly, pretty much perfect look. And then I hate these little lip applicators because you use them on your lip and you stick them back in and it grows bacteria. So this is just a, kind of a, I don't know what you would call it, um, a disposable applicator. And um, this is perfect for when you use it on yourself or someone else, so that way you don't get a bunch of bacteria in your lip gloss, and your lip gloss will last four to five times longer. 
And Sarah has a really nice shape of lips, so we don't have to do anything additional here. But um, if you guys don't have, you know, kind of the Cupid's bow lip shape, I'll put a link to the video where I show you guys how to shape your lips really quickly in about 30 seconds. And um, you can do that to get the desired shape. Push your lips together. All right, and let's see. Sarah's finished look. So if you close your eyes and open them up again, we can see kind of how this look comes all together. We have the eyebrows and everything. And she's ready to go. Again, do it more, do it less, depending on how you need to look. And she's going to look great in her photo shoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave a comment below and check out um, kind of like the bottom tab so you guys can see all the video links and information. Be, clear, be sure to click subscribe so you guys can see when more videos are posted. And let me know if you guys have any other tutorial requests. Have a great day, guys. Say bye. Bye. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah's finished look. So if you close your eyes and open them up again, we can see kind of how this look comes all together. We have the eyebrows and everything. And she's ready to go. Again, do it more, do it less, depending on how you need to look. And she's going to look great in her photo shoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave a comment below and check out um, kind of like the bottom tab so you guys can see all the video links and information. Be, clear, be sure to click subscribe so you guys can see when more videos are posted. And let me know if you guys have any other tutorial requests. Have a great day, guys. Say bye. Bye. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself, Sarah? <laughs>